Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Okay, so for this week, we will enter to chapter 4. And um, chapter 4 is about the continuous random variable. So if you are still remember for the previous week, we learned chapter 3 is about discrete random variable. So the, the, the difference here is on the, the type of variable itself, which is uh, discrete and continuous. And both of it, uh, I already explained or you already learned it, uh, the term of discrete, what's mean by discrete variable, what's mean by continuous variable in chapter 1. So uh, you may refer back if you don't know the difference. So because on this chapter 4, I will just proceed with the content. Okay? I will not uh, uh, recall back what we have learned before. All right. So class, so for this week's agenda, so there are four things. So it's, uh, uh, I mean, it's similar like the previous one. So the first one, we need to know the concept of continuous random variable. Okay. And then after that, after we go, after we done for <coughs> the first one, we go to number two, which is the probability and cumulative distribution function, or we call it as a PDF and also CDF. Okay. <coughs> And the third one is expected value and also variance, which is this one the same thing like the previous one, the, the previous chapter. Okay, just of course like, the formula will be different. Right. Then the last one is about mm, normal and standard, or, or we call it as the type. Okay, the type of the distribution. Okay, uh, so we have two normal and standard normal. Okay, we have two type of distribution for this. Uh, continuous random variable okay so we go first to the first one we go to the first one first so what's mean by continuous random variable so a continuous random variable we can and we can assume that the values corresponding to any of the points contained in one or more interval or in other ways or in uh, in easy way to understand is uh, continuous is um, is still uh, the val uh, what we call the variable that we have a value uh, that we count but not countable by not countable each of it was yeah it must be have in other words it must be have a decimal it's continuous it continues so you can see that here I give you example so for example the length of the machine parts okay or the keyword here is the length so we know that the length uh, when we measure the length, it can be it can give us in decimal point. Is it? For example, fifteen point one, fifteen point nine, two point three. So they have a decimal point. So that's mean it will be continuous. It can be a twelve point three five da 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 something like that. Same thing for time, time taken. So time means uh we have uh <clears throat> now time now is eight point forty one or eight forty two. So for they have decimal there, okay? They have decimal, okay? It's a, uh, it can be represent as second lah, saat. okay? And then we also have price. So same thing, price also we have, uh, for example, five ringgit, uh, twenty cent. So they have five point two there, okay? So same goes for height and temperature, right? So this is the example of continuous. So now, okay, so in this slide, so you can see that they have two circles here, which is the first one is a PDF and the second one is CDF. So for the PDF, okay, for the PDF is, uh, we call it as a probability distribution function. And for CDF, we call it as cumulative. All right, so they have a property for each, it, for each of it. Okay, so for the PDF, the first one is your Fx must be greater and equal to zero. Okay, cannot be less than zero lah. Okay. And then the integral of uh, fx from infinity, uh, from negative infinity until infinity is equal to 1. Okay, so uh, for now you just accept it. So maybe later I will use, uh, I will give you example. So I will explain or you can see through the example. Alright. Okay, so for as uh, for the properties number 3, that probability between A and B. So A and B is a number lah, 1, 2 for example. Okay, between A and B. How to find the probability of it? Okay, it's not it's not the same like we do for discrete. Okay, how to find the probability of a and b here is by using integral here. So you can see that we we, we need to integral we 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 need to integrate from a to b. So a is a number lah, for example one, b two for example. So you need to integrate your function with respect to the x, and then you need to substitute the value of a and b into your function. So you get the answer. 
Okay, it's uh, slightly different lah compared to the discrete random variable. Okay, alright. And then you can see here, down here, I write, or oh, I just copy paste here from your notes. So, P, A, uh, sorry, probability of A, A, B. So, you can see that I want to focus on the the symbol here. So, this means less than, this means less than equal. So, actually, all this is the same. Okay, kalau you tengok kat sini, kat sini less than and this one is less than equal. It's also equal to, if we have a less than, less than, less than equal, less than, and both are less than equal. So, all of this will lead to the same answer. Okay, for continuous, for continuous, it will be equal. It's just apply for continuous. If for discrete, for the previous chapter, eh, this one cannot be applied. Okay, kalau for discrete, if it's less than, so it means it's just less than. It cannot be equal with that number. Okay, so hope that you can, uh, uh, what we call, um, uh, clear on this part lah. Alright, okay, so now we go to the CDF. So CDF, we just already have one here. The properties here, which is uh, for Fx. So it means that we find out the property of x and the rest and the less it. Must say less, less of x. Must say if we want to find the probability of 1, so that's mean you need to find probability of p1 and p0. Okay, so you can see that how to find the probability. Yes, you need to find integral with uh, from the negative infinity. So, or that means uh, from zero or maybe other number lah, less than of it, and up till x. So up till x means up till the value that they ask here lah. For example, kalau sini dua, so you will integrate up till two lah. Okay, and then you integrate after that you substitute the value of it, right? So this is a PDF and CDF for continuous random variable. So, this one is expected value and variance. Okay, class, expected value and variance. So, uh, I just repeat again. Expected value means mean. Okay, it's mean mean. Bermaksud uh, mean. Okay, and also average. So, expected value mean and average is the same thing. Okay, alright. So, the expected value formula here given by. So, this is mu. Okay, the symbol of mu equal to Ex. But now... The formula will be different lah from the discrete. Kalau discrete, formula the lain kan? So, for continuous, formula the lain. So, how to find the expected value for continuous? You need to integrate and then from negative infinity until infinity. And then you need to times x with fx. Uh, so, then you solve it. Okay. So, for variance, so you can ignore this one. Yang ni you pull ignore. Okay. Okay. So, from the here, okay, so it's equal to this. So, variance, okay, uh, power 2 equal to Ex square minus Ex square. So, actually, if, if you uh, still remember the here, uh, Ex and Ex square blah 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 here is equal. It's same like the discrete, but the difference here is on the how Ex and how Ex square uh the process to get es and es square so we need to use the integration here okay we need to integrate okay so i hope that you can identify lah ataupun you need to remember uh, remember, remember uh, <coughs> the formula between the discrete and also continuous okay so sebab saya takut ataupun i'm just worried that if you are if you are not um, uh, remember that one i just afraid that you use the the, what we call the wrong formula lah for, for both takut you still silap lah antara dua tu sayang kalau salah sebab it's easier for you to get the marks for this question ok alright so now <coughs> ok class so um, ok so I just continue so actually this slide uh, I mean for the normal distribution I will proceed in the week next week ok if you are refer to teaching plan the normal distribution will be continue for next week but I just I just um uh, I just record it. Uh, I just record it together, lah. So may you may refer, uh, you may uh, watch it now, or maybe you you can watch that. Uh, watch this video next week. It's also okay, okay? Because this content ataupun this title will be covered for next week. But like I said, saya tengah record video ni saya rasa saya terus sekali kalah, okay? So for normal distribution. 
So we have a normal probability distribution when plotted uh, or when we plot the graph, it, it gives a bell-shaped curve. Okay, bell-shaped curve, bentuk loceng lah, ataupun, uh, ya, yeah, bentuk loceng. So you can, uh, they have a uh, the condition here, the total area under the curve is must be 1. Okay, so the total area, uh, masa keluasan ataupun ni lah, bawah ni mesti satu. Uh, the curve is symmetric about the mean. Okay, mean kat tengah-tengah. So, this is a mean. So, you can see that this line is equal, right? Kalau you symmetry tu, maksudnya if you, let's say lah, like, imagine that you flip this one on this line. You lipat dua ni. Okay, so you can see that it's symmetrical. And the last one, the, the two tail. Okay, this is the two tail. Okay, the two tail here. This one, the first one. And this one, the second one. Of the curve extend indefinitely. Uh, indefinitely, okay? Indefinitely. Dia tak attach sampai bawah. Okay? Dia just macam tu je, hang. Alright, so, uh, actually this line, this line, yang curve ni, is your standard deviation. And the point at the middle is your mu, ataupun your mean. Okay? So, this is the, the, the what we call the, the info, ataupun, uh, introduction to the normal distribution. So again, next, okay, another in, another another point for normal distribution. So each different set of values of mean, okay, each value set of value uh, mean and standard deviation give a different normal solution. So maksud dia macam ni, kalau lah uh, mean, because these two, means and standard deviation will be affect your graph. It will affect the shape of your uh, graph. So, kalau kat sini is um, mean, actually mean will be determined the center of the normal curve. Okay. Maksudnya kat tengah ataupun mean tu adalah center. And then for standard version, give the spread of a curve. Like I said, uh, like I mentioned just now, the, the shape of this, this one, the spread, uh, this one is, um, ni ni, okay, ni, this one is your uh, standard version. How the graph spread it. And the middle one or the center one is your mean. Okay. So you can see that for both graph or figure here, for figure 4.2, normal distribution with the same values of mean. Okay. So you tengok dia ada tiga line kat sini. Ada satu and then this one the second one and then this one the third one. Okay. All of these have a same mean. Semua ni kalau you tengok puncak dia ataupun the peak of the shape is equal. Okay, it will be the center one. Will be this one uh, is it will say that the mean is uh, same lah. Okay, but you can see the shape of the spread it of curve uh, spread of a curve here is different. So means that will be have a different standard dimension. So then for figure four point three that you can see that the spread of a curve is equal. Okay. Uh, for all it is, the spread of curve is equal, but the shape, uh, the, the the what you call the value of the mean is different. So then the peak of it is different lah. Kalau you attach together, kalau you overlap all these three, okay, kalau you overlap, you just imagine lah like you overlap all these three, the shape or the spread of the curve will be uh, attached ataupun sama lah. Okay, sama. Cuma, dia punya peak will be different. Okay, the peak will be different because of your mean is different. Okay, so your standard equation is equal but your mean is different so we will give, uh, it give you the shape like this. For this one is if your uh, standard deviation is different. Okay, then we have also the another one uh, because like I said that we have two right, normal and also standard normal. So this is a standard normal. So standard normal deviation is a special case. Uh, it's a special case of a normal. So standard normal is a part of normal. So, uh, just it is a special case. So, maksudnya dia adalah um, anak ataupun um, a branch of a normal distribution tadilah. Okay, apa yang special case dia? What is the special case? The special case here, the mean is equal to zero. Okay, and your standard relation is equal to one. Always. Okay, always zero and always one. Tak ada nombor lain. They have no other figure. Cannot be 20, cannot be... I mean, if if your mean is 20, so that's mean it will be normal distribution. Okay, maksudnya dia, dia jadi normal distribution balik lah. But if your mean is zero and your standard equation is one, it will be become standard normal.
Okay. And then the unit of the standard normal solution, uh, we do not as Z. Okay, kita tak akan guna X dah. Kita akan guna X. Okay, I mean, we no longer use X, we will use Z. Okay, we will use Z. Alright, so now we go to the last, or uh, not, uh, yeah, I think the last one. Okay, the last slide. So, we want to standardize a normal diffusion. So, what's mean by standardizing a normal distribution? So, what does it mean? Okay, for example, the question gives you normal distribution. And the question asks you to standardize or to transform. Uh, so the transformation uh, from the normal become standard normal, we call it as standardizing. Lah. So the process here, we call it as standardizing. So we want to make it or we want to change from normal distribution become standard normal distribution. Okay. So what we do is, uh, so here you can see that we want to change from normal, which is a variable X. We want to convert it, become Z. So how this is the equation that we will use. So Z is equal to X. So X is our normal distribution minus mu. So mu here is your mean divided by your standard deviation. So you will get the new number. Lah. Uh, instead of X now, we will use Z. Okay, class. So I think that's all for this one. Uh, I just I just jot down the important point that I think is important for you to know. So I just wrote down the important points. So I think that's all for now. So um, uh, I will give you or uh, I will record another video for example for each of the topics. Okay, all right. So till then, see you later. Bye.